And welcome to the Oregon Wine Board's Cost of Goods and Gross Margin Calculator for running various financial scenarios for uh, calculating cost of goods and potential uh, gross margin for an Oregon winery. And uh, my name's Tim Han. I teach wine business, and this has been developed in conjunction with the Oregon Wine Board, Oregon Wine Growers, and Bree Boskov, their executive director. I'm really proud to uh, introduce you to this uh, wonderful tool. It's simple. Just follow along and basically input information. You'll get a dash dashboard of calculated costs. Um, for your grape inputs, you're looking at a cost per ton. There are pull downs, and as you look at each pull down, for example, with Cabernet Sauvignon, we'll give you an Oregon high, low, and average price, plus the price at average by ABA where we have that information. This is pulled from the Oregon um, Grape Crush Report, and over time, we hope to get it fully filled in uh, with these guidelines. But you enter your anticipated cost per ton, and if it's a blend, then the percentage of the blend that that wine represents, and you can put up to seven different wines uh, into your blend. It'll give you an average cost, or if you're doing 100%, it's just simply whatever that amount is. Um, read the bottom of this page. Uh, you cannot save your work, and do not leave the page if you're working on a project but you can print it. There's a print button down here in the bottom, so you can save it as a uh, printed copy or save to PDF if you like, and then have a copy of your project. In the wine production tab, uh, we transfer the cost of the grapes. You get the ability to establish how many cases per ton you're anticipating to get out of, out of uh, uh, your grapes. Uh, put in your pre-fermentation handling and treatments, fermentation costs, uh, lab work and analysis, and then we've got a spot to put in your state and federal excise taxes per gallon, and um, a link also to the TB, TB site on that. Aging and cellaring, a lot of variables, so you can uh, uh, put the type of oak and the duration. This is pulled from a more detailed worksheet. Now, if you're an Oregon Wine Board Wine Growers Association member, contact them because you have the ability to get a free full version of all this. And it's a number of different workbooks, including a vineyard cost calculator, a very detailed cost of goods calculator, winery operations, and a fantastic tasting room and wine club pro forma to help look at your, your costs and your profitability for those important parts of your business. So you put in your oak aging and alternatives and uh, finish the wine and then um, any additional storage of case goods that's necessary. Go then to your packaging and gross margin page. Uh, put in your costs of your packaging and bottling. It'll give you a full cost to finish good breakdown by percent of total, your total costs and your dollars per case breakdown. When you set your FOB, this is a, a user field. So you input a projected FOB cost. Now this would be what you sell to the, the wholesale distributor or a transfer price that you would use to your tasting room and wine club, okay? So this isn't your retail selling price, this is your FOB or X seller's price. So I'm gonna give you a total revenue uh, for this uh, project. It'll also give you a projected distributor selling price, uh, accounting for freight, insurance, taxes, their landed cost, and then the distributor markup that they would sell it to a restaurant or a retail store. And then we also have an estimated retail shelf pricing. And that gives these give you the figures that show up in your dashboard. Have fun with this. Don't leave the page or hit the back, bot, back button. You will lose your work. But it's fun and easy to do. It's a great learning tool. And you can quickly run scenarios uh, for different wines that you're making or anticipating to make. Enjoy it. Thank you very much.